So you're in a little bit of a dilemma on that. We need to leave that kind of fuzzy on this, but we need the authorization to follow the leads, put the troops in, and, and play this. Look, ISIS got started through funding from our friends and allies, because as people will tell you in the region, if you want somebody who will fight to the death against Hezbollah, you don't put out a recruiting poster and say, you know, sign up for us, or we're going to make a better world. You go after zealots and you go after these religious fundamentalists. That's who fights Hezbollah. But, General, and I'm hearing you it's on... It's like a Frankenstein. <laughs> I'm hearing you on keeping Syria fuzzy, but, I mean, they've been very clear in wanting to destroy and dismantle ISIS, so that's not fuzzy to me at all. The question would be, if they wipe out ISIS in Syria, which is the goal, then what with Bashar al-Assad? Yeah. There has to be a plan for that phase. Well, some things you can't exactly plan that clearly because you're dealing in the realm of politics. So part of it is, can you get the Russians to withdraw their support from Bashar Assad? How would you do that? Hmm. Well, you're dealing with the Russians in Ukraine right now, and they're not being helpful. No, they're in fact, not. from Putin's perspective, he probably sees it as a, the opposite play. He says that because the Americans need us to help on Iran, because they don't have a ground force in Syria, they're actually relying on us. Therefore, we can push Ukraine further and the Americans won't stop us because they're afraid they'll lose our cooperation elsewhere in the world. So he's playing it that way. So this is difficult. You can't always lay everything out linearly in advance. Mm -hmm. 